Welcome to Destiny Children's TV. We're so glad that you have joined us today. We're going to carry on looking at the prophets today. God's story, the prophets. So part of God's story is about the prophets, and it goes like this. Prophets are people who hear from God and share it. We sometimes think of prophets as people who know the future, but really, they know whatever God tells them, which could be anything, because God knows everything. Anyway, nowadays, God speaks to all of us. But before Jesus came and before there was the Bible, God spoke to his family through just a few people. Some of those people were prophets. 16 of God's prophets have books in the Bible named after them. And today, we are talking about them. It starts with Isaiah and ends with Malachi. These guys are a pretty big part of the Old Testament, so let's check out what God said to his family through them. This won't take long because even though they lived in different places and hundreds of years apart, they had basically the same message because people have always had the same problem. We disobey God. So the prophets told God's family, you've sinned, now you're in trouble. Of course, the prophets didn't just say this. They got God's family's attention by doing crazy things to show how bad life can get when we're far from God. Like Isaiah, who walked around in his underwear for three years to show what it looks like to lose everything. Or Jeremiah, who hid his belt under a rock until it rotted, then dug it up again so God's family could see what it looks like to be completely destroyed. Seriously, kids, that's in the Bible. And actually, it gets even crazier. Check it out for yourself. See, God is holy, which means he's perfect. He created us to be like him and follow him. But instead, we choose to disobey him, which is sin. Sin has to be punished because if God is perfect, he can't pretend it doesn't matter when we hurt each other or ourselves or his creatures or the earth. The thing is though, God loves us anyway. He doesn't want his family to be in trouble. So he sent good news through the prophets too. They said, if you stop sinning and follow God instead, he'll have mercy on you. Mercy means not getting punished, even though you deserve it. Problem is, nobody could stop sinning for very long. Well, God had a plan for that too. He told some of the prophets, like Isaiah and Zechariah, that one day he would send someone perfect to earth. Someone who could take the punishment for everybody else's sin. And if our sin was paid for, that would mean we weren't in trouble anymore, which means we could come close to God. If 16 different prophets over hundreds of years all said pretty much the same thing, it must be important, right? Even now, for us. After all, we've sinned too, and we need a rescuer. And since the rescuer already came, we can follow God and choose to accept that Jesus took our punishment which means it doesn't separate us from God anymore. And we can talk to God, but also hear from Him, which means we can prophesy too. And that's the story of the prophets. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Prophets hear from God and share it. God told a whole bunch of them the same thing. Sin separates people from God. Stop sinning and obey. But God's family couldn't stop sinning. So God promised a rescuer. Hundreds of years later, the rescuer came. And now we can be close to God. We can hear from Him. And we can share it. And that's a part of God's story. Sing, I'm gonna shout, shout, shout I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout And praise the Lord When those gates are open wide I'm gonna stand at Jesus' side I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout And praise the Lord Are you ready to zoom? I'm gonna zoom, zoom, zoom Around the room, room, room I'm gonna zoom around the room And praise the Lord When those gates are open wide I'm gonna stand at Jesus' side I'm gonna zoom around the room And praise the Lord Hip hip hooray. hooray I'm going to say hip hip hooray And praise the Lord When those gates are open wide I'm gonna stand at Jesus' side I'm going to say hip hip hooray And praise, praise the Lord, Lord. Are you ready to sing? 
zoom around the room. I'm gonna zoom, zoom, zoom around the room, room, room. I'm gonna zoom around the room and praise the Lord. When those gates are open wide, I'm gonna stand at Jesus' side. I'm gonna zoom around the room and praise the Lord. Called Savior, have you heard of His perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how He gave His Son? Cause I have found this love, I believe in the Son. Show me your In the one called Savior I believe he's the risen one I believe that I'll live forever I believe that my King will come Cause I have found this love I believe in the Son Show me memory verse comes from Jonah chapter 4 verse 2. You are a God who is kind and shows mercy. You don't become angry quickly. You have great love. Let's say that together. Jonah chapter 4 verse 2. You are a God who is kind and shows mercy. You don't become angry quickly. You have great love. Well done everybody. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? and went to the port to board a ship. Going the other way, he was hoping to get away from God. Oh, he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Mm. 
Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish, and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Ugh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. Have you ever played Simon Says? Or follow the leader? These are great games. Let's have a go at it now. So all you have to do is follow the leader. Are you ready? The leader goes like this. Can you go like this? The leader goes like this. Can you go like this? The leader nods his head. Can you nod your head? Anybody getting dizzy right now? Me included. So let's jump. Let's jump. 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 That's great. Well done following the leader. It's great to play those kind of games. And you know with God, God wants us to obey him. But it isn't a game. It is a great way of doing what we are supposed to do and living a great life. The prophets, all they had to do was say what God told them to say to who they told them to say it to. And Jonah did not want to do this. Have you ever been like that? Has someone ever asked you to do something and you've been like, I don't want to do that. Maybe your parents asked you to tidy your room or maybe your teacher wanted you to do a bit of extra work and you're like, no, I don't want to do it. Well, today we've all felt like that, but it's really important that when we hear God tell us to do something, that we go and we do it. And we're not like Jonah who said, I'm not going to do it because I don't like those people. But instead, we trust God and say what he tells us to say. What can you be saying to people today? Maybe you can be using kind words. Maybe you can be telling people about how amazing God is. Do you remember our memory verse that we heard earlier? It says this. Try again. It says this. It says that you are a God who is kind and shows mercy. You don't become angry quickly. You have great love. You know, wouldn't your friends like to know that God is kind, that he is loving and that he is patient with them? These are great things that we can say to each other. And these are the things that God wants us to tell other people about him. sailors yell a storm is raging we're all gonna die and then i heard the sailors cry there's someone here who's made god mad we don't know what he did but it must have been bad we'll cast lots to find that guy then we're gonna say goodbye uh-oh Spit me up upon the shore. I got the Nineveh and started to say, You'll be destroyed on the 40th day. God, please forgive us, we're all terrified. We know we've been bad, but we don't want to die. We all are fasting, no one will eat. None of the grown ups, children, are beasts. <laughs> 
Show the people mercy, he let them all live He is loving and is gracious and he likes to forgive I got mad at God that day I wish he'd blow them away He's forgiven my foe, time to get up and go Adios I left the city and got sent a vibe The shade it gave me made my head feel fine Got sent a worm and it withered away mad until I heard God say You are upset cause the vine went away But you don't care about the people I say Jonah trust me if I put up with you Then it's no wonder I can love them too loads of fun today following the leader and remembering that the best person to follow is God and to do what he says. That's right so this week let's make sure we are using kind words let's make sure we are telling people the messages that we know God would want them to hear. God loves them and God loves you. Have a brilliant week everyone we'll see you real soon.